1,000 calorie diet, you should aim for about 2 cups of fresh fruit or 1 cup of dry fruit a day. Whether as fresh fruit or dry, fruit can help us reduce worse our heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, low blood pressure, and prevent the formation of kidney stones. In general, fruits help us to maintain good health. Wow, they are so colorful and yummy! Let's discover the world of fruits today! Number 1. Have you ever wondered which fruit contains the highest vitamin C? I thought the sourest fruit contains the highest vitamin C. Is it correct? Did you know it? Let's check it out. If we have a kiwi, a guava, and an orange, which one will contain the highest vitamin C? The surprising answer is the guava. There is 228, a very big number, milligram of vitamin C per 100 grams of guava. So guava is sometimes called the queen of vitamin C. Luckily for us in Vietnam, guava is grown all around thanks to its tropical climate and the uncomplicated cultivation techniques, so we can have it quite easy. Number 2. Milk. It's so popular in the daily meal. But do you know that fish match milk and calcium? Wow! Trying to get more calcium. Instead of pouring another glass of milk, you could reach for a fruit bowl. Figs are a great source of calcium, and a cup of dry ones, like Ken is holding here, has as much calcium as the same amount of milk. Moreover, figs provide a good amount of potassium and vitamin K, two micronutrients that are really essential for bone health. Really good news for those who have a milk allergy, right? Number 3 Tomatoes have more genes than humans. This is a bit crazy, of course, but it's actually true. The average tomato contains more than 31,700 genes, which means that it has at least 7,000 more genes than a human being. In fact, Plants tend to have way more genes than animals. However, having more genes doesn't mean that they're any better than animals. Plants have more genes largely due to the higher rate of gene duplication. Number 4. What happens if your potato is sprouted? And is it safe to cook with a sprouted potato? No, they are not safe to consume. You are better off tossing <coughs> potatoes that have been green or grown sprouts. Although many people and websites suggest that the sprouts and the potato skin should be removed and then the potatoes can be consumed normally, it is advisable to avoid doing that. Number 5. Can a tree that can bear a variety of fruits exist? Yes. This is quite common practices in case of citrus, like pomelos, lemons, and grapefruits and oranges, and stone fruits. Its name is a salad tree. Yummy. It was an idea coined by James and Kerry West in the early 1990s. The West are natives to Australia. Consequently, the first fruit salad trees were successfully grown in Australia. However, over time, people had shipped the trees to other parts of the world. The fruit salad trees can either be grown in an open field or in pots. All the fruits in a salad tree retain their own characteristics like flavor, appearance, and ripening times. Amazing! Number 6. Cherries are so delicious! It is low in calories and chock full of fibers, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and other good for you ingredients. However, don't 
to or eat a cherry pit. Cherry pit contains the chemical amygdalin, which, like apples, can convert into hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide interferes with your oxygen transport, potentially damaging your brains, heart, and lungs. Can hurt a man in the USA ate three cherry pits. Ten minutes later, he got poisoned and almost died. The extent of the potential harm depends upon the amount of cyanide you're exposed to, but still, be cautious. Number seven. A banana is not a tree, but a herb. What? Yes, we all call it a banana tree, but it's technically regarded as one of the largest and tallest herbs grown on Earth. It isn't a tree because its stem doesn't contain true woody tissue like the ones in our parks. Can love bananas so much and always consider it a healthy fruit. Its taste is also very great, and the amount of energy is suitable for kids that are growing up. Kang also likes to use its leaves as wrappers to protect the environment. Number eight: Dry fruits are more nutritious than fresh fruits. Really? Drying process of fruits releases the water content and volume in fruit and keeps all the nutritious value intact. So the calorie content for 100 grams of dry fruit is much higher than the fresh counterparts. For those who need to gain weight, dry fruit can be a great addition to boost to your overall calorie intake. For those who don't need to gain weight like can, fresh ones is still a good choice. Number nine. My mom is a big fan of roses. And I would surprise her if she knows that apples, peaches, and raspberries are all members of the rose family. Wow! The rose family includes herbs, shrubs, and trees derived from the type genus Rosa. Anyways, type genus is the genus that makes the family, you know? It comprises many of our beloved garden plants and many fruits such as apples, Strawberries, raspberries, and almonds. Some species, especially roses, have scented flowers. Can you now understand why an arborist can devote their whole life to study about trees? What an interesting world! Number 10. Do you know the meaning of proof stickers? Have you ever noticed those little stickers attached to important fruits? Don't tell me you even ate one! Before you throw your stickers away, look a little closer at it. There is a number in it called a PLU, Price Lookup Code. You may be surprised by what that produced sticker reveals. PLU codes have been used by supermarkets since the 1990s to help checkers identify fruits and vegetables so they can charge the correct price and maintain better inventory control. For the sticker, it's not just for checkout. It also tells you how exactly your fruit has been grown. A four-digit code starting with the number three or four means your fruit was conventionally raised. A five-digit code starting with the number eight means your fruit has been genetically modified. A five-digit code that starts with the number nine means your fruit is certified organic. Oops, so this envy apple is, is raised, not an organic. The organic apple is here. Vietnam has a bunch of good fruits, so Kang loves to enjoy the local ones. For the important ones, Kang will choose the one having the stickers starting with nine as much as possible. How about you? Here is the end of today's night sharing. What's the next surprise? Look forward to it. See you in the next episode. Kang knows the home of knowledge. Bye.